The final item of business today is the Members' Business Debate on Motion No. 9382 in the name of Alex Rowley on Hobby Park and Ride. I have my instructions on how to pronounce that correctly. This debate will be concluded without any questions being put, and I would be grateful if those members who wish to speak in the debate could please press the request to speak buttons as soon as possible, and I call on Alex Riley to open the debate. Seven minutes, please. Uh, thank you, President Officer. In, in opening the debate, I would um, acknowledge that we are here to discuss the Hobbyth Park in, in Chews, and that was established by an investment of £7 million from the Scottish Government and two point £5 million for Europe, and that was certainly welcomed very much so at the time when the investment was made, and indeed when the Minister came and joined Councillor Park Callaghan and the opening of the facility. In moving this motion tonight, I am asking that the Scottish Government make the funding available or further funding available that will create a rail halt at the Hobbyth Park in Chews which is situated in my constituency at Cross Gates and is accessible for people throughout Fife and much further afield. A rail halt at Hallbeath would take, help take some of the pressure off the rail hall and car parks at the Embercaden station, which is greatly um, improving choice um, at Hallbeath, as well as taking the pressure off that station. Hobbyth is strategically located close to the M90, the A90 and the A92 and sits alongside the Five Circle Railway and is well positioned to become one of Scotland's key multimodal transport interchanges. The Strategic Transport Projects Review 2009 identified both a park and ride bus site and park and ride rail halt, also with rail improvements between Invercaden and Hobbyth. So the first step in achieving that objective would be to put the rail hall in. This could be linked to Fife Circle route and give people access to the railway as currently operated. This would also achieve the aim of making public transport more competitive with the car by providing um, visible and accessible park and choose by adding a rail hall and, and increasing the choice. Currently, there are 23 million vehicles crossing the Forth Road Bridge every year. Approximately 3,500 vehicles per hour flown into Edinburgh and the Lothians. At peak times, trains running southbound are eight per hour, with an average of 400 passengers per train. So 3,200 passengers an hour, meaning over 10,000 passengers every morning coming out of Fife by train into Edinburgh and the Lothians. There are over 100 train services each day in each direction. I believe it makes sense, therefore, to build a rail hall at Hobbyth. Indeed, if you look at the traffic flows onto the bridge, 20 per cent of the traffic comes from Perth and can Ross down the M90, passing Hobbyth, a park and choose, and then onto the bridge. 25% of the traffic comes from Kirkcaldy, Glenrothes area, along the A92, past the park and choose, and on to the bridge. And 29% of that traffic comes from Dunfermline, next to the park and choose, and on to the bridge. But in the medium term, it makes even more sense to make the investment that would see the construction of a direct dual track link between Inverkeaden and Hobbyth to the park and choose. Such an investment would reduce train journeys times between Edinburgh to Perth, Aberdeen and Inverness, as well as to Fife services, and would improve the access to the port of Rasaith, and in doing so would be an economic boost to the, the port itself. The Hobbyth Park and Choose would then, I believe, be at full capacity, which is currently 100 car parking places, and we would have a good problem in looking, having to look for more car parking places. And not just cars, the park and choose has buses run in, running into it from communities across Fife. So the investment I'm calling for would mean we would have a proper integrated public transport system. So step one is the rail hall, and then step two is the new rail link direct between Invercaden and Hobbyth. Such a development would improve journey times and connections to tackle congestion and the lack of integration and connections in transport that impact on the potential for continued economic growth both in Fife and in the east of Scotland. 
It would also be reducing emissions, tackling the issues of climate change, air quality and health improvement, and it would also um, be accessible and affordable, giving people a choice of public transport, where availability means better quality transport services and value for money and an alternative to the car. I am totally committed to better transport links between Edinburgh and Glasgow because I recognise that they are the two cities that are the key drivers of the Scottish economy. But crucial to that strategy is the city region agenda and the city region link. And crucial to that in the east of Scotland is the investment into the Fife infrastructure, including the railways. Creating a new rail link between Inverkeen and Hobbeath is crucial to that connectivity and putting in place as a first step the rail hall and the station at the park and choose is what I am calling for today. I am grateful for the members that have stayed for the debate um, and I um, hope we can progress this in the interests of the East of Scotland economy. Thank you. Many thanks.